today we're unboxing an unmanaged power over ethernet switch. So this particular product is by a company called Hikvision. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So the purpose of this product is to plug in multiple power over ethernet devices. So ranging from IP cameras, IP phones, and even IP access points. So let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. Let me quickly show you. So you get a power cable, reasonable amount of cable on there. You get some pads, sticky pads to go underneath this if you're gonna actually desktop mount this. And you've got some rack mounting brackets on there and screws as well. So the actual device itself powers at the back and you've got a ground port there. So let me come round and show that. Yeah, and so underneath, you've got the areas where you can put the actual sticky pads if you want to desktop mount this. So it just stays in position. And if I show the side, bracket would go in like so, and you just screw that on for rack mounting. Okay, so let me give you a close up of the actual switch. So we've got a power indicator there, Power of Ethernet Max on there and a link acknowledge. So all these lights light up as you're plugging in the devices and it's got a connection. You've got a power over Ethernet status here. So obviously they'll light up if it's giving power. Let's move along. We've got extended mode, so it's on and off there. And at the moment, they're all in the off position. If I flip them up, they'll be on. And if they're on, they'll allow you to actually extend the range of each port. And you can actually go to 250 meters in terms of length. Okay, so we've got the ports here, all 16 of them. And these are the high priority ports and these are the standard ports. Each of these are 10100 in terms of speed. Okay, if we carry on moving along, we've got the uplink ports here. So each one is one gigabit. And that's the port that will be connected to your router. Okay, and then we've got the fiber ports here. So you'll have to buy modules for these to extend these and get them used. So pull these off put the actual module in there, and then you can actually make a fiber connection link on there. Okay, so I've plugged in the power at the back here. I've got a cable here going into my router. That's to provide the actual uplink here. So onto the rest of my network. And I've got a camera here, which is power over ethernet. So initially it's not on. And I've even got a sound meter here just to show you the actual noise levels on this. So let me turn the meter on first. Give it a moment. So you're getting 34 decibels on there. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it on and then you can see how much noise it gives out. Okay, so you're getting about 53 decibels on this. So just to make you aware of the noise levels on this. Next thing, if I lift this up slightly, just to show, you've got the power lights come on and our uplinks are here. So if I plug in one of the uplinks, and there you go, G1's come in because I've just plugged it into G1, which is a connection onto my router. Now, this is a camera I've got, and it's powered by power over ethernet. See so if I get another cable, and I plug that into this end here, and we go via the port there, there you go. So just to show, let me zoom in, the link Link light should come on in a moment. There you go. So the device is powered on now and it's got a link and the power over ethernet status is on as well. So it's being powered. Okay, let me plug in the camera just so you can see it powering on as well. There you go. And it's just going through the initialization now. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this unmanaged power over ethernet switch. 
pretty straightforward to set up, not too complicated. Four scenarios where obviously you've got a lot of devices that need to be powered via ethernet and obviously using ethernet is pretty straightforward. You don't need to have power plugs near these devices, so it's quite good. So details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.